Well, this day changed in a split second for a born police officer who was on her way to work. Close call. Instead of being called for help, she was the one that needed rescuing. The officer was driving when she lost control of her SUV and then was trapped inside after it crashed. Bill Shields, live now and born and built, a good Samaritan actually rushed into the burning car to help. Well, i tell you who that good Samaritan was, Jack. That was the Carver police chief. He was on his way to work and right behind the accident. Now, there was another savior, if you will, a born detective. He, too, was behind the crash on his way to work. I think under the circumstances, everybody did the jobs that, uh, that they're trained to do. Sure, police are trained for emergencies, but when born police officer Wendy Noyes crashed, she was lucky that other police officers happened to be nearby. She was trapped in the vehicle and the vehicle uh, burst into flames. Carver Police Chief Arthur Parker was on his way to work and seconds behind Officer Noyes. She was pinned inside and Parker went in to get her. When the fire broke through the firewall and started into the, uh, into the vehicle's occupant area, it was time to make a rapid extrication. And while Parker and another cop were inside the wreckage, these two troopers were stopping vehicles on the road that they knew had fire extinguishers. I just, just slowing down the cars, stopping, just, I knew the trucks had extinguishers on them. So with noise and two other police officers in the car, it was up to the troopers to knock down the fire until firefighters could arrive. It was back and forth, you know, you'd go out, get a couple of breaths, and the other trooper would step in and uh, continue to fight the flames. Though suffering numerous injuries, Noise is alive, thanks to quick-thinking cops. I saw it with my own eyes. They saved our life. Officer Noise is in Falmouth Hospital tonight. She has a broken leg and a separated shoulder. Now, there are two other cops instrumental in saving her life. Detective Mike Kelly from here in Bourne, he was in that car, too. He's hospitalized tonight because he had so much smoke inhalation. And also, Officer Jay Perry from Bourne. He helped get her out also. Reporting live from Bourne, I'm Bill Shields, CBS 4 News.